When it comes to the beauty of the spring, there's so many flowers to choose from, but for me, the tulip ranks right up at the top. Just look at these gorgeous flowers. They're really hard to resist. These are classic beauties that know how to put on a show. Tulips are available in an astounding variety of forms and colors. In fact, there's so many to choose from, it's sometimes overwhelming. So if you're really into blooms and big color, specifically tulips, one place to visit is Garvin Woodland Gardens. It's not very far from here. It's in Hot Springs, Arkansas, and it's very much worth the trip. Designed to fit harmoniously with the natural setting, Garvin Woodland Gardens boasts a spectacular display of tulips for its tulip extravaganza. Under the guidance of the University of Arkansas's Department of Landscape Architecture, this 210-acre garden is planted with well over 100,000 tulips of all types. The gardens were donated by Verna Cook Garvin to the University of Arkansas, um, to the School of Architecture and Design back in the late 80s. The tulips were a recent, a more recent addition. They're probably, well, probably about a decade long that we've been having the tulip extravaganza. I just love walking through and seeing what was in my mind come to life and all the blends of colors and the heights of the tulips and seeing the smiles on people's faces as they walk through. The process has evolved over time. It used to be that there were solid blocks of color and waves of color moving through the gardens, which is a more traditional planting of tulips. I brought a little different twist to the gardens two years ago whenever I started doing the design portion. I really like to mix the different heights and colors together to give a more dramatic effect. This is a Triumph tulip. This variety is Leon Vandermark. I really like that the Triumph tulips have that traditional tulip look and that the petals tend to stay in that partially closed position as opposed to fully opening. This is a parrot tulip. This one's silver parrot. I really enjoy the parrot tulips because of the wrinkled petals that they have. It gives them an unusual shape. One of the things about parrot tulips is that they are a really late season bloomer. So it's fun to wait until the end of the season to see these little surprises pop out of the ground. You know, it, it's kind of a, a renewable time for anybody that's kind of used to the rat race. We came here the first time in October and we were so impressed, we bought a membership then. We came back again for the Christmas lights. That was fantastic. And then we're here today. So this is our third time here. I planted 15 tulip bulbs this year, so <laughs> it made me appreciate all that's gone into this. Really what I have found to be the most critical is getting from a reputable grower. So if you're getting your bulbs shipped in and you're, you're dealing with someone that is actually from Holland that has a good quality of bulb, that's the biggest determining factor. If you're getting those discount bin bulbs, you're not gonna have as good of a show as if you're ordering from someone who's a reputable grower. It's not just about coming out and being relaxed in the woods. You know, I've been out here for the 5Ks, so I, I come out for recreation, health, um, but also just to kind of get away and get in a natural environment without being more than 15 minutes from my house. Oh, there are a lot of reasons. that We were just saying it'd be nice even just to come sit on a bench here and read a book. I mean, it's just kind of in the hustle and bustle. It's just a great little escape. 